Street first is my question. Well, would you look into the problem hole? He said, right, he'd say, right, take your problem jeans off. <laughs> right? I want to see your problem hole oh. clearly. But he would fish, he would put his hand or his finger into the problem hole to try and remove the problem he ball. He would. Wouldn't he? Well, 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 he'd, he'd, well, he could feel the problem balls, but he'd have to insert his finger into the problem hole, wouldn't he? Right. Okay, so, so Carl, go on then. I'll just get in the tank. <laughs> Okay, so in a roundabout way, back to Cogito Ergo Sum, I think therefore I am. Descartes, pondering, how do I know this isn't a dream? Well, he concluded he doesn't. When he took it further to, how do I know I even exist? He quite rightly concluded that, well, if I'm even pondering this question, I must exist. Whatever I am, wherever I am, the fact that I'm questioning, introspecting, thinking at all, I think, therefore I am. Because I'm even thinking, at least I know one thing, that I exist. That's all he said, Carl. I don't understand why he had so much time on his hands to be worrying about this. At the end of the day, get on with it. You're not doing shit all, Carl! <laughs> so why are you so annoyed at other people who aren't doing anything? I you're just going out in the morning, you're staring at worms, at bugs, you're staring at the sky, you're writing what has books on that your head. you're making up, you're making up the books, that isn't researched. What do you mean making it what up? What is it that you're doing? One of, the, one of the chapters in your book about travel was Australia, I've never been there myself. Fuck up stuff about a grub eating a biscuit, we're all the same, we're, I mean what is that? That's not, that's not, but... I laughed. Yeah. So I, it, so I enjoyed that book. Listen, everyone like me who that bought book that book is absolutely pointless. It is in my lavatory. Every time I pop in there for a shit, yeah. just take it off the shelf, have a little read. Yeah, Great I'm, fun. I, and I'm down to about four pages because <laughs> sometimes I forget to get bog roll. But listen, that is a fun book to yeah. wipe your ass with. It's a great book to wipe your ass with. But that book was good for me. I don't yeah. know if, if anyone enjoyed it, but I was emptying my worry hole. Is that another is that different to the problem hole, your worry hole? It's next to it. <laughs> Once a problem it. ball is being processed through the, the, the hole, <laughs> is it is, is it deposited through the worry oh, hole? I, all I'm saying is you're right, I do watch a lot of insects and stuff. <laughs> and you never see them wasting time. They're always doing something, an ant's carrying something somewhere. Sometimes I watch it and it goes somewhere and comes back again, you think, does it know what it's doing? But at least it's trying. <laughs> what you- Now, if there was a What big is it doing, though? What is that ant doing? Work. It's doing- it's building a house, but it's, or- what, what's the point? It's- everything it does is pointless. How can you say that? It's pointless, I'll it's tell just- tell you what, if, if there was a bigger sort of being looking over the world and they went, right, let's look at the human race, and, well, they'd look at the ants first and they go, right, they've got their hands full, they're carrying big stuff, they try to save time by carrying stuff that's way too big for them, really. <laughs> they could do that with, between three of them, but they don't. They're all grafting hard. Then they go, right, hit the human button. They hit the human button, they watch the humans. The amount of people who are just sat about doing now, they read about Amy Winehouse, Lily Allen in London at 2am. So what? <laughs> what are we doing? I agree with you, but what are you doing? You see, the ant analogy, joking aside, I think there, you hit on the fact that life is about working for what you get. And I'm right behind that. I am right behind that. Mm. I think that's... Uh, I, I, I think that's absolutely true. That's what I meant. What's dangerous is... A, a boiling can. kettle to an ant. At the end of the day, right... Yeah, but that's that's evil, isn't it? What? You know, I, I don't... I, I mean, you, you sometimes make out as if I'm an evil man. We had an ant problem. Mm. In the garden. Suzanne said, we've got to get rid of these. Mm. And I said, well, it's a bit out of order, they are outside. And mm. she said, yeah, but there's, there's getting a lot of them. Mm. She went and popped the kettle on. Mm. I said, I can't handle this. I went in, right? <laughs> what, you didn't want to see the ant burn? That's sweet, you know, they're there. Yeah, it might be causing a problem, but I don't want to see this this mess. Now, the thing is, she went out, she poured the hot water on it, I left it a few minutes. I went out, I had a cup of tea, I thought, it's a waste of electrical oh, yeah. <laughs> So I took my cup of tea out there, and I'm sat there, and then I just saw one come back from wherever it had been. One ant. He looked devastated. <laughs> Because that that had been away. As far as that was concerned, it had been out to get a leaf or whatever. It came back, devastation. <laughs> and it's it's that what that, that's that's the thing that he summed up death for me, that. 
the, the ants that are dead, they didn't know anything. Suddenly they were there, next minute, load of water, dead. It's the people who are still living in life that are the saddest, aren't they, after yeah. death? And that summed it up. What do you think? That you ant would have been better off being there when it happened. How could you tell the ant was... What do you think? So you saw it, I mean, they run around in circles anyway, don't they? But this was just kind of going, what's going on? And what did, it, did it slow down when it got nearer the nest? Did it drop the leaf and then you see it run the last few inches? It, it just kind of got close and it was like a double take almost. <laughs> Almost like it, it got near the hole, and then it was like, hang on a minute, this can't be it because no one's around. And then it walked on, and it went, no, it is the hole. And it went back, and it, it just sort of stopped for a minute. Ah. Oh. And that, that for me, that's the sort of thoughts Descartes should have been having. What? Things that you can look at as a human uh, yeah. and appreciate it and understand it yeah. and go, yeah, that's true, that is like life. Instead of, oh, am I awake? Am I asleep or what? No. Well, you might as well be asleep because you're doing nothing else. <laughs> Oh, Descartes, Winehouse, Alan. Slammed. What do you do towards enjoying your life? I don't normally enjoy the thing when I'm doing it, it's after. It's like that holiday, when I what was on holiday. What do you mean, holiday. you don't enjoy the thing when you're doing it, it's after? What's an example of not enjoying the thing at the moment, but you do after? You didn't enjoy the holiday? Say but like the holiday, I've just so been you enjoy coming off holiday. What? Let, I want to hear it, you, you enjoy the holiday, you didn't enjoy the when holiday. When I'm there, I had fleas biting me. Yeah. I had mosquitoes biting me. Yeah. Uh, there was a funny smell of damp in the bathroom. I was worrying, getting in the sea, thinking, is there stonefish in it? <laughs> right? Now you've yeah. got all that going on. Yeah. When you get back, you forget about the damp smell. You forget well, about you the fleas, because the bites have gone. They're not as much of a problem. Yeah. So then your brain starts going, well, hang on, what did I enjoy? And you go, I enjoyed the Dorada fish I had that I've never eaten. Yeah. That's an experience. At the time, I wasn't enjoying it because I'm thinking, when I get back, I'm going to have fleas on me again. Yeah. So you remember all the good stuff. It's like an old person when they're dying and they go, I'm having flashbacks. They don't say, I'm remembering the time my shoes were too tight. What they do they say, say? They're having nice, they're going, oh, I love the time with that. I was old. wearing flip flops. No, they, they oh. enjoy, they have flashbacks. Like what, nice what, 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 what do you think you're going back? The and that, you'll go, oh, the, 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 the lovely hot summer of 79. So you don't enjoy anything you enjoy while you're at doing the moment, it? At the, at the moment in time, it's I don't understand that. That's, that. I mean, that is the oddest thing I've ever heard about. I think about. there's actually a medical term for it. There's someone who's unable well, to, to, to enjoy, to have, to receive pleasure, to take pleasure. It's really weird, that. That is really weird. No, because you're busy doing the thing. So well, you haven't so got time to enjoy so it. So you can't you... enjoy something you're busy doing because you're busy doing it. You can't possibly enjoy it. Or, you don't know if you're going to enjoy it because it hasn't finished yet. Well, Carl, but listen, I know from the, from right, the moment- Right, say this. But listen, Bungie I- jumping. I'd love right. to bet I do it. I bet you get a, a brilliant feeling as right. you're falling. Yeah. But, I wouldn't be enjoying it because I'd be going, is the thing going to snap? Right, okay. Well, there's, there's, there, no, there, that is, there is something about that. Extreme sports, there is a reason uh, why you're doing it. It is the after effect you enjoy because right. it's the fear and then the, right. the, the endorphins that rush to you and you go, my oh God, I survived, isn't it brilliant? That's right. a feeling of euphoria. So that's- No, but, you're but, having a nice dinner. Right, okay. Now, when I get a menu given to me in a restaurant- Yeah. I go, right, what am I going to do here? Yeah. Right, well, when I came here, I thought I'd have some lamb chops. They've got lamb chops, great. Wonder how much they give you, because I quite fancy this pudding they've got. Right. Now, I have the lamb chops, it comes with extra veg. <laughs> I eat it, I enjoy it. The pudding I wanted, it's gone out the window, I've got no room for it now. <laughs> Once you enjoyed, you can only so get packed so much. Enjoy if you're enjoying all, all your life all the time. There's no point in regretting anything. That's just greed. No, but I was looking forward to the pudding. Well, you shouldn't have eaten all the veg. Yeah, but I was enjoying it at that point. But then you take the pleasure that you had at that point. No, because yeah. I wanted a pudding. Yeah, but you, but you didn't want a pudding, or you've had a pudding. No, because I would have had it for the sake of having it. Yeah, and but, then it's, it's yeah, ruined. But I don't know what the whinge is there. You had a lovely meal, you had some lovely lamb chops, you enjoyed the hour. Because when I read that they had, a, a, like, profiteroles on there, yeah. I thought I fancy a couple of them. Yeah, and, and then... It, and the chance has gone, I'm probably not coming back to this, this restaurant now. Yeah, but you haven't missed a chance, you had the chance, you didn't want to take it because you were full up with lovely lamb. It's What's not like you didn't enjoy the lamb and the veg. If you'd not enjoyed that, I can understand your point. But you had a lovely time eating the lamb and the veg. If, someone the if, if the bloke came here and said, you can have the profit rolls if you eat this lamb you don't like, you go, oh. And you ate the lamb, you didn't like it, but now you're full, then you could whinge. You wish I hadn't been forced to eat the lamb, I could have the little profit rolls. That's, you know. I had a spicy sausage. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. Now, the, th the problem was, <laughs> I was on. enjoying it, but I thought, this is this is the spiciest sausage I've ever eaten. Right. <laughs> now, I could only enjoy that <laughs> the next day night when I knew that it's the gone through my body, there hasn't been a problem. So I go, that was a nice sausage, you'd have one of them again. Right. <laughs> that was a nice sausage! But then the next time, surely you'd be enjoying it. Because you wouldn't have the trauma of the next night, because you'd live through it, and now you're just enjoying the, the lovely problem... spiciness and the sausageness of the spicy sausage. Yeah, but the problem is, once you've enjoyed something, it's very difficult to replace what you got from that spicy sausage the first time. Then why are you looking forward to having another one? Because let me tell you. Go on. Auntie Nora. Yeah, she's she's guilty of this all the time. She right. loves a, a spicy sausage. Well, she she too. you know I've told you she prepares all the food, mm. right? She's got them all in bags in a freezer. Monday, mm. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Right. Um, she's got it all there. Now, she, what she normally does, she makes a big pot of curry. Mm. Right. She goes, what I'll do, I'll pop that in the Monday bag and I'll pop it in the Thursday bag. Mm. It's the same curry. Now she has it on the Monday. Yeah. She loves it. She right. thinks I got the mix just right there. The spices yeah. are good. The yeah. chicken was tasty. I'm looking forward to Thursday. I'm looking forward to Thursday. I can't wait for Thursday. Yeah. Right. I'll call her up on the Thursday evening. I'll go, how was the curry that you had on Monday that you said you were having again on Thursday that you enjoyed? Didn't enjoy it. Mm. Why is that? Dunno. Just want the same. Now the weird thing there is it is the same. Mm. And in order that is the same. It's from the same bag, it's from the same pot. But yeah. she was expecting too much. And that's the problem. If I had that mm. spicy sausage again, yeah. he's never going to live up to it. So forget the spicy sausage. I've had it. I've experienced it. So you right. never someone says, one. "Well, it depends." So do you have anything twice ever? Maybe Jesus. not. But this is insane, Carl. Right. Because no aside from you and your auntie Norma and presumably all the other Pilkington clan, or all as weird as one another, why you phone her up and ask her what she's having for tea? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. What, and that, that shows not you only that, what is on Monday, yeah. what are you going to do on Thursday as well? That, make, I'll make a note of it in the auntie Norma <laughs> food diary. <laughs> that's proof that you really aren't enjoying your life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to go right. Oh fucking. Well, what else you say? But to then he's people. phoning her up again late on the Friday to find out how the Thursday curry went down. I know exactly. Yeah. That's two calls. Unbelievable. Well, it's just just read a journal. No, he makes her happy, doesn't it? Getting Call. She's got nothing else. Yeah, well, the curry doesn't make her happy. No, well, she did the first they time. They loved it on Monday, but she didn't like it on Thursday. No, the question is is it better to enjoy something once and not again than not at all? But you're an idiot because you're the only person who experiences this. That's not the choice. Th that's not the choice for normal people. You can either never enjoy summer or only enjoy it once. You can enjoy things loads of times. No, you can't. That's what a hobby is. A hobby is enjoying things over and over again. I haven't got a hobby, have I? That's why. I've had loads of hobbies in the past. I did the dancing, I did the boxing, I did, uh, what else have I done? Mm, that yeah. is it, I think that's what but, but, but that's what I'm saying though, I soon get bored. And that's, it's like how you enjoy, you know, I love munchies. Yeah. But I always enjoy the last one more than... Well that doesn't make sense, that goes c totally counter to your argument. No, because it's from one packet. What? It's from one packet. What difference does that make? The so first you, one's so your favourite. No, so hold on, one. so if you were to have one munchie, I'll go out as a munchie mate. You no. go, I'm not going to take one unless I can have all of them, in, uh, particularly the last one. Um, but what is... Well, no, I'd like to have them all, please. What? No, no, you can't have them all. Don't be so greedy. Have, have one munchie. Have the first munchie. There but you I'm go. I'm going to have one and I'm, I'm going to get a taste for them and I'll, I'll probably want another. Well, no, that, they're my munchies though, aren't they? No, I'll keep them then. Forget it. Well, look, so you'd rather have no munchies than one munchie? I'll go and buy a packet. I prefer. I prefer to go. Do you know what? I fancy a packet of them. But why do you enjoy <laughs> the last? Okay, no, why wait. do you enjoy the last munchie more than the first? Whereas you, know you enjoy the, the first one. curry, but not the second. But you know, it's the last one because it's no because I'm eating them all in one sitting. I'm not going. That's for Monday. That's for Tuesday. That's for Wednesday. Right. I'm talking about a packet of munchies. Right. I eat them. There's probably about twelve in a packet. Okay. I shove the first four in without even thinking what I'm eating. Really <laughs> <best>. <laughs> you shove the first four in without right. even thinking about what right. I'm eating. Yeah. Now, th then, when you're getting towards the end, you make them last more, you might bite the top of them. You look what's inside them, you go, oh, I'm liking this. But yeah, hold on, what, what, every time? What, every time you buy a packet of munchies? Yeah. You? Yeah. So, hold on though, you must enjoy a packet of munchies regularly then? Not as often as you think. The well, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> the as I think, I don't know. So tell me how often you enjoy a packet of munchies. Normally after a sort of, maybe once a month. So, every month, you look forward to a lovely packet of munchies. And the same experience. You, you like the, the first end, one. I like the last one. The only thing you know you enjoy, look forward to enjoy, and it fulfills all those expectations is a fucking packet of munches once a month. Fuck me. What do you think happiness is? Um. Again, you, you only know the happiness because of the badness. You've well, got to have a yin and a yang. Well, I know what you mean there. I, I, I agree with you on this because. 
it, it's sort of no good to be handed it on a plate. I mean, just dr just from my own experience, working for someone does feel better because you've got a you've got a pride and a satisfaction. I genuinely think it's better to start a business, struggle, go bust, come back, than win the lottery. Yeah, I genuinely believe that, and the older I get, the the, the more sure I am of that. That working hard is itself the reward, and I genuinely believe that. But where does it end? There's, it's no point having the struggle till you die and never get any happiness. Um, so, w what's your balance? We don't have to go into philosophical terms here. What's your balance? What's your yin and yang of a, of a, of a good life? Uh, and, and by good life, I mean one that you've enjoyed or, or, or been satisfied with, or guilt, or shame, and a bit of pride. What are you asking me? I've, uh, yeah, I've got a bit of all that. Right. But you need you need the mixture, don't you? So you so you find out what you what your favourite thing is. It's like a bag of revels. Yeah, but you can't you can't cherish guilt or shame. Did you just say you? life is like a bag of revels? Isn't that dangerously close to life's like a box of chocolates? In Forrest Gump over there, yeah. Jesus no, but it, but it is, isn't it? There's there's one or two in there that I don't like. Like what? The raisin. The raisin no, 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 no. With, with chocolate. Yeah, no, no. Now what no, I'm saying metaphorically, is, what what's the like, yeah, well, I'm, actually I'm named what Revel he doesn't like? Yeah, well, I'm telling you because it works in life. Go on then. But the Revel you like is raisins? There. Go on. Well, well, maybe if you have enough raisin ones, yeah, you eventually go. Do you know what? They're not that bad. What? And that's the thing in life. Well, hold on, wait a minute. So, what are you saying? Where's this metaphor? Are you saying suddenly all the bad things in life are pretty good, actually, if you just well, get used to them? Sometimes, sometimes out of bad comes some good. Go on. At the end of the day, the uh, the revel mm. thing. What happens to the munch here? Oh uh, well, again, with life, if you have too much munches, you get sick of the munches. So move on, mix it up. What, what mixes it up? Bag of rebels. You've got a bit of everything in there. Right. So even the ones you don't like, you might like in the end, you'll go, do you know what? I was okay, wrong. lose, I was lose wrong the judging. analogy now. It actually just talking about rebels now <laughs> in life. What about, what about, um, oh, what, can I, what has he enjoyed before? What would you have written to Jim will fix it to fix for you? What would have given you pleasure as a kid? Dear Jim, can you fix it for me to do what? When I watched Jim fix it as a kid, they never really lived up to what the kid wanted, did they? But what would you have requested? But I don't think I would because I think I saw how disappointed most of the oh kids were. Oh God, it's a kid exhausting. like whistling. They brought out this Roger Whittaker. <laughs> yes, because they look at it. They go, "Can you fix it for me to go into space?" No. Can I dance with Banana Rama? No problem. That's the ones they pick. Yeah. So that's I mean? why I wouldn't write in because. Whatever you ask for, you're always going to get a watered down version. But if Jim could fix it for you to do anything, what would you have chosen? There's not many things I wanted as a kid. One Jesus thing. Christ. Just one thing. To choose one thing, please. That my name was Brett. I mean, it's extraordinary. <laughs> there, is no, there is no predicting that. <laughs> okay, you know what? I can make that dream come yeah, true for you right now, Brett. We can just call you Brett from now on. Not a problem, Brett. Brett Pilkington. It sounds good. I love the fact that it's the Carl bit he wants to replace, not the fucking Pilkington. No, but Pilkington. that doesn't work either, because like, then I, not, told, because I told okay. me, I told me mum and dad that that's what I wanted. They started calling me that, but then I forgot they, that. What, they went along with it? Yeah. So you said, mum, dad, call me Brett from now on. And they went, all right. Yeah, but then I, I kept forgetting that I was Brett, so I wasn't answering, so they went back to Carl. <laughs> oh, it's amazing! So you've had that dream come true? Yeah, and it wasn't that good. And that's what I'm saying to you. Things never live up to what you want. Dreams, what are they? <laughs> Taking one of the big themes of philosophy further, um, why are we here? What's the point of life? What is it to be human? Um, the ethical upshots of some of the technological and medical breakthroughs pose, you know, more of their own questions. Cloning, uh, is that, is that a person in its own right? Well, of course it is. Um, what about if you grow that for harvesting without the brain? Um, so, so growing kind of or uh, vital organs, yeah. presumably in a, in a laboratory. What about that, you know, uh, stem cell research, is that, you know? I mean, there's, there's, there's weird things happening all the time with all this transplant stuff. Um, read about one who, uh, you know, a way of 
sort of you're saying oh it's just a bit of meat yeah you're saying oh it doesn't no, matter no what I meant it, 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 it organs can't have rights and feelings no but and listen to that. this go on so it's going to be bullshit no no no, my, my, no the, the, the you, went you, up. would you like a small beep, wager beep, 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 beep. the senses went up when he said right listen to this okay right. I'm going to bet you five pounds Rick that this is not bullshit don't let me down Carl okay I'm going to bet you um, they found out it was the heart of a